Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about one thing to invest in at every price point. So I wanted to make this video considering that a lot of people have been asking me what they should actually invest in at the current time. And I think right now is a kind of good lull in the year where prices are sort of on a lowish point and uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can actually go for and invest in at this current time. So guys, I'm going to be talking about each thing at each price point that you can invest in. So let's get right into the video. All right, so starting off at the $5 range, this is gonna be the lowest point of the video that we're gonna be talking about. So the $5 range, you have quite a few options to go for in terms of skins and in terms of cases. So I think actually case investing is the best thing you can do when you have about $5 to invest in anything. I think that the nice thing about cases is that you can buy a lot of them, which means that if they do see an increase in price, you can sell them back and make a lot of money off of them. So the best thing you can possibly do in terms of case investing is, in my opinion, going for the Chroma 3s. There are a few other cases that are kind of on the same caliber as the Chroma 3, but I would say right now the Chroma 3 is the best possible case you can invest in. And uh, what you can actually do is go over to the r slash global offensive trade subreddit, and if you head over there, you can actually trade one key for about 500 to 600 three cent cases. So that means one key can get you about 600 of those uh, nice Chroma 3 cases. And if you wanna go ahead and spend all $5 on just cases, you can buy two keys, which means you can get about 1,200 cases. And uh, that is going to be a really great investment. You're gonna be able to buy a ton of those cases. And if they do even see a one cent increase in price, that is quite a bit of money you've already made. Uh, case investing is kind of a long-term thing, but it does work out in the end. So that's why I would say go for cases. Other than cases, we do have uh, some skins you can invest in at the $5 range. The Prisma case actually has a couple pinks that are pretty good right now. The R8 Revolver Skull Crusher and the Incinigator are both pretty good skins right now to invest in just because they trade up to the Emperor and they're fairly cheap. Uh, another thing that you can look forward to is actually getting some skins from the next case when it comes out in the 20th anniversary case. There's going to be probably a few pinks or purples there that will be under the $5 range that would be pretty good investments going forward. Uh, furthermore, the Op Atheris has dipped under $5, I believe, at this point in field tested condition, and that is also a pretty good investment for the $5 price point. So guys, just to recap, Chroma 3 cases, the Op Atheris, and then the Prisma case pinks, and also the uh, 20th anniversary pinks and purples once they come out. And guys, that's going to do it for the $5 price point. Alright guys, moving on to the $10 price point. Uh, there is only a couple skins here that I actually want to talk about that I think have any merit going forward. Uh, for that, I think it is going to be the M4A4 Desolate Space. This is a skin that's always consistently been pretty decent and field tested uh, in terms of an investment. And uh, also, the only, only other skin that I think actually does possess any merit at the $10 price point range would probably be... The AK-47 Redline. There are other skins that are at the $10 price point range, but nothing that is, you know, as stable and as promising of an investment as the AK Redline or the M4A4 Desolate Space. I think the Redline is actually going to increase pretty soon here. The Phoenix case obviously is getting a lot rarer, and uh, with that, obviously the Phoenix case skins are also going to get rarer and are in going to increase in value. With the red line being such a cool skin and being a good skin for starting CSGO players to actually invest in, I think that it is going to be a really good option. So just to recap $10 price point, really at this current day and age, all we really have is the M4A4 Desolate Space and the AK-47 red line. All right guys, moving on to the $25 price point, we have a couple skins and one sticker here. Uh, the first skin that I'm gonna be talking about is the Op Asimov. Uh, like the red line, it is part of the Phoenix case and with that getting rarer, obviously the uh, Asimov is going to get rarer and that is kind of a a skin that a lot of people have nostalgia for because a lot of people like to use the Op Asimov at least back in the day and uh, you can actually get that on bit skins at least right now for around $25 and uh, that is a really, really good skin to invest in. Like the red line, it's just going to increase in price over time. And uh, right now, there's not really any sort of thing that would make it decrease in price. And now, uh, onto the sticker that I wanted to talk about. This is going to be the Furia Hollow. Uh, I do think that the Furia Hollow is going to decrease in price because of the upcoming Berlin Major. But I think, in a general sense, it is still a really good hollow to invest in. It looks really nice, and it is going to just go up in price in the future, uh, just because of you know what it looks like and the kind of the air around it with how it kind. Of looks like the IP Power Hollow. And guys, finally, the last skin that I want to talk about at the $25 price point is kind of probably a weird one to a lot of people, but this is going to be the AK-47 Vulcan. And the reason I think the Vulcan is going to increase in price soon is just because it's in that like critical mass era where it's kind of like at that price point where it is one of the most expensive AK-47s that you can actually buy at the current moment, but some of the lower tier ones at like the well-worn and battle scarred point are really low and like understandably it is not 
as good of a skin when it's in battle scarred or well-worn condition but i think with increasing rarity it is going to kind of have a sort of skyrocket in the future so that's why i think that the ak-47 vulcan is going to be a good investment so just to recap we have the op asimov at least in the battle scarred condition you can get it on bit skins for about 25 dollars we have the uh, Furia Hollow, which you can get for around $25 and even less on the on bit skins. And then we have, obviously, the AK-47 Vulcan, which is, I just talked about, which you can get for about $18 in battle card condition on bit skins or about $25 on the Steam Market. Okay, guys, moving on to the $50 price point. I just have one super prominent skin here that I think is really going to be good in the future, and that's the AK-47 Empress. And I guess, by extension, technically, the M4A4 Emperor is also included in that. I just think that the empress has such a good view by the community everybody just seems to love the skin and uh while unlike the m4a4 emperor it does not really decrease in wear as it goes down like from field tested to well worn to battle scarred uh the emperor does however and you can see a lot of the scratches on it so i think that's what kind of sets them apart i think the empress is like actually on honestly pretty underrated i think that the Empress does have a high price point, but I also think at the same time that the Empress does not have a deserved price point. I think it's still a little bit lower than the hype that actually can build up to it. So for that reason, I think it can rise in the future. And just recently, with the TF2 Unusual kind of catastrophe, it did rise up about $9, as I talked about in the previous video. So there's a lot of money to be made on the Empress. I'd say definitely go for that. And uh, there are obviously other prominent skins that can be good investments in the $50 price point, but I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of the Empress specifically. If you do have a skin that you think is a good investment, just run it by me in my Discord, and uh, you can find a link to that below. And if I do think it's a good skin, I'll let you know. I'll let you know what I think about it, but really I do think that the AK-47 Empress is the prominent skin. And uh, I guess no recap for this because it is only really one prominent skin that I want to talk about. Okay guys, just two more price points to go. We have the $100 price point, and then we're going to just have like a $200 plus price point. Uh, so the $100 price point, there are a few options for you. I think that at this price point, it's still going to be best to go for a flip knife. Uh, I think that the flip knives are just doing super, super good right now. And oddly enough, just because like you wouldn't think the flip knife would be doing so well it just kind of is and uh it's a little bit inexplicable i did make a video on flip knives though so if you want a more in-depth explanation about flip knives then go check it out i did make an entire video on it um but at the 100 hundred dollar price point you can get quite a few skins for this obviously i'd say don't vouch for like the forest dd pat like boreal forest type stuff uh, you can definitely get uh for some pretty good ones at the 100 hundred dollar price points there's the blue steel you have the freehand you have ultraviolet just uh, quite a few at the 100 hundred dollar price point that you you can actually buy and I think those are all decently mid-tier skins in terms of knives and I think that the flip knife is also just a good investment going forward I think it is going to rise quite a bit uh, sadly you can't get any butterfly knives at the current moment for around hundred dollars I would recommend that if you could get it for a hundred dollars um, but I think really the premier skin at the $100 price point is going to be the flip knife. Uh, there is not really a lot of other stuff at the $100 price point. It tends to be the skins that are about at this range are just there because of random inflation or just because they're, you know, newer skins. Like I know the Emperor Minimal Wear was going for like 90 something dollars. But uh, it is definitely going to lower over time just because the Prisma case is going to be less and less rare over time. And therefore the price is going to fall uh, but i do think that the flip knife is just going to be the overall premier skin to get and uh, so if you want one go for it if you have a hundred dollars to spend i would say i you have my full support in that decision so yeah guys for the 100 dollars price point is going to be the flip knife all right guys finally moving on to the 200 dollars plus price points this is going to just be two skins i think that are really premier that are really you know at the forefront of investments keep in mind that this is going to kind of be a video series so i will be updating this as time goes on and i'll be making more episodes as time goes on on. so this isn't really like a definitive thing uh, obviously the market changes over time and you know things will change over time so i don't want to talk about too many skins in detail so i'm just going to kind of leave it you know short to the point so guys the two skins that i want to talk about for this part of the 200 dollars plus investment range is going to be one butterfly knives and two karambits those are both going to be at the forefront of investments. And uh, real quick, I did want to mention actually the Talon Knife as well. So the reason I'm not recommending the Talon Knife at the current moment is because it's still a little bit overinflated from Prisma Case, uh, being, you know, still a little bit more rare than it should be. I don't think that the Talon Knife is really good at this current moment. I think it does have a lot uh, lower to go before it does reach the point where you should go and invest in it. It's not like you're going to lose a bunch of money if you invest in it right now, so don't worry if you actually already bought one, you're, you're fine. Uh, but I do think that it's not like... A critical time to invest in it i don't think it's the best time to invest in it in this current market it's still a little bit too high and so that's what i think with a talon knife 
at this current point in the market. So guys, just keep in mind that there are quite a few things you can get at the $200 plus a point. On the lower end, there is going to be stuff like the Butterfly Knife Blue Steel, the Butterfly Knife Vanilla, the Butterfly Knife uh, Damascus Steel, and the Butterfly Knife Stained. And then for the Karambit, it's stuff like the Freehand. I know you can get like a Karambit Lore Battle Scarred, which is kind of an interesting one. You might want to look into that. There are a few that kind of end up around the $200 range. And then obviously going, uh, you know, into the really expensive ones, you have like the Butterfly Fade, the Karambit Fade, you have some like nice Doppler ones and stuff like that. But those are obviously going to be the much higher priced ones. So guys, that is just generally butterfly knives and karambits at the $200 plus price point if you have that much money to spend on something and you're looking for something that's good to invest in. Both of those have been seeing really good trends this past year and I think it's going to continue into the next year and continue going forward for the rest of this year at least. So I think those are both good things to kind of put your money into and let it appreciate over time and then sell it later if you want or just hold on to them because they are good play skins as well. So guys, that is going to do it for the $200 plus price point and let's roll the outro. All right guys, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. They take a lot of work to kind of conglomerate all this stuff into one general video so be sure to leave me a like and let me know that you appreciated it also consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this and uh, be sure to let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this type i know that a lot of you are out there are watching my channel in terms of what you can invest in and so i think videos like this are going to kind of go over a little bit more uh, well for the subscriber base that i currently have so if you do want more videos like this be sure to let me know and uh, just keep in mind i do have a discord you can talk to me there about investments and you can kind of get my opinion on it and the opinion of a few other people. I know there are some other experienced investors in that Discord currently, so you can go check it out. Uh, there is a link in the description below for that Discord. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you all for the support. We just hit 230 subscribers, which is really cool. We're going to go all the way to 300 and even further, and uh, hopefully we end up as a pretty big channel so I can help a lot of people learn about investing and stuff like that in CSGO. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again, and I will see you all next time. Peace.